And the mountains were very special. They were seen as sacred to us. And even today we have to call out our names as we approach the mountains. We have to speak in language. Now Buya is the name of this area. The word Biwa is really Buya, which means eagle. In this area it would be on the pathways to the Conondale Ranges. When there's cyclones on the coast, you have to move inland. So with all the lakes and things around here, uh, that would have been an important stopping place on our walk back to the Conondales and conversely when we're coming back from the Conondales to the coast. In its heyday, you'd go to town and all you could smell was pineapples. Farming certainly changed um, from what it was when I was a boy. Uh, it was predominantly pineapples around this area. It had timber, it had pineapples, it had tobacco. And there's very few of my generation to actually carry that on. I think we should keep our history and the same as our Aboriginal History. Often in placemaking, you will see the timeline start around 1860. And this continent didn't just appear 200 years ago. It was here for millions of years. Bankford House was the first Cobb and Co stop in this region. Outside of Bankford House, there's this road known today as Old Gympie Road. That was actually an Aboriginal pathway. People would journey through here to Baroon Pocket to attend the Bunya festivals. Cobb and Co tracks were established on old Aboriginal pathways and that's why the house is here. This is a major move from the council to come into a community and become part of a community. Our people are out and about meeting with you, wanting to be part of the community and feel the sense of value and sense of community that you and I all love. Today we're at the BOR Marketplace delivering a community engagement have your say event where we've basically been grabbing people off the street and it's been a pretty successful day. We've had a lot of people come through. We've asked people what they loved about BOR and then put it on the location which mattered to them the most. It's a good way of engaging people in a positive way. I like the small country town feel. I really think that's important to retain that. The relaxed family atmosphere that, that it portrays. I love the mountains. That's probably one of the most important parts about beer or about this area. We moved from Wollongabba because of all the congestion and noise in the city. Everything's so close. Just like the walking footpaths. Native plants, the wildlife, the birds. I think it's a good atmosphere. We really love the library. And Sports ground, the Turner Park. You're not too far from anything. Not too far from the coast and not too far from Brisbane. The sense that I'm really capturing here is very much the friendly people, the proximity of the shops, continually the green space, the rural areas, the local, friendly, welcoming community. Well, it's those community groups that are already in place. Be it the scouting groups, the guides, the sporting groups, you know, it's just those are the things that make the community. It doesn't matter where you come from, you live here and we want you to be proud of living here and become part of a welcoming, caring and compassionate community. This whole area holds cultural and spiritual significance and that's why we love it. This question was, if BWA is changing, we definitely need to preserve, and we've got a whole heap of ideas written down about what people would really like to see preserved in BWA. I don't want the town to lose its appeal as a rural community. We have strawberries, uh, we have avocados, we have macadamia nuts, so lots of agriculture here which will be retained into the future, I hope. I like the views of the mountains that we have, and I like the fact that our, our towns have this identity to do with the mountains, and it has the Indigenous connection and the early settlers and it's all mixed up together. I think it's a really important part of our identity and I think we do need an identity that can, that can bring us together. I would like to keep trees and green space. Let's not lose any more trees. Just keep that sense of community alive and well. A country town should keep its, its friendliness. Change, you'll use these yellow post-it notes and stick them on. I consider Biwa the hub of our region and I want to see it develop in a very structured way. We have a lot of businesses that need to come out here and have got no room. Biwa lends itself to having a good mix of industry and farming. Small business is a big part of the community. We need to develop that. 
we could get jobs closer, that'd be really handy. If I could open a business in the town, I would, so I don't have to commute to Brisbane every day. Yeah. It's working out the niche business that would still survive. More infrastructure, hold a few more jobs here. We would need Medicare, yeah. uh, Centrelink. We need a different variety of shops. have to go to the Morrowfield or the Coast. Department stores and a little bit more competition. We'd rather not see something in the way of a huge shopping complex. The streets of Biawara and like the main street, I'd like to see maybe like nicer places to hang out. You know, more trees. So public connectivity from the library to the railway station. Look at opening up the town centre, buying parcels of land so that we have that spacious feel and that green heart into the town. It's referred to as the railway towns, which is disappointing because we need to change that banner. We've lost our identity, that's what I think. There's no more of that small, small town country feel anymore. If there isn't a symbol for this area now, perhaps adopt the eagle. So that would tie this township right back to our people. If Beewell had a nice square, somewhere where people could meet, slow down and talk to each other and communicate. Footpaths and the meeting places that they're able to access. Townsville example, make a garden town. The library's nice, woolies are okay. Around that area could be a lot nicer. Sustainability. Having continual problems with urbanisation in relation to our 30 odd farms that we've got in the area. Clean, green technologies. Like well, Christmas carols time, we don't have like an empty uh, Amphitheatre near the sports ground. Burton Crow. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, You've got a lot of local artists. More signage in the town. The library has to be brought into evidence. We were just talking about Turner Park needing more exposure. It's just hidden away. So you come into town, down past IGA, uh, Aldi and then turn left into Peachester Road and you can't see it from there. You can't see it from there and yet there's this big parcel of land here that no one knows is here. More promotions in town. The signs that talk about the indigenous stories behind the mountains. Wimberley's Corner, where the Peachester Road comes in to Simpson Street. We've always called Wimberley's Corner and I'd like that to be remembered. I'd like people to know our story. I think we really need a booklet stating the Indigenous, the Gubby Gubby history of this area, so that people can pick it up in the library and other places. Promotional uh, trifold leaflet, and it highlighted all the interesting points around the route. So why haven't we got something like that in, in Biwa? Biwa has something very unique. It is the gateway to the West. Transport on a whole is a very vital part of our community that we need to look at. It has to cater to many different age groups. No local transport for us. We've got an intersection at a school. It is extremely dangerous i.e. both for children, traffic, etc. There's no stop signs. Where are they going to have all those people park their cars when they're at the train station? I think they need more walks. There's not a lot here to do for the kids. They've got the skate park. Yeah, just some sport activities, like, more often. The cycle tracks in Dewa, what are they like? They're short, really short, or they're really old and really dangerous. There's still many places that you can't access from Biwa to Glasshouse if you're a walker. Safety is another big issue, I think. How we move forward together, how we can create a better future for Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people together. A very special part of Australia, you know, there's nowhere else in the world you'll come across mountains like these. People are very passionate about this community, without a doubt, and it's consistent wherever we go. It's good that they're doing this and it's the first step and I hope that you know, they'll continue it and we'll all get better at telling them what we um, what we think and what we need and you know, learn um, from the process. And everything that comes out on the ground you'll say, I've been a part of that, I've had my say and I think Beaver will be the town to live in.